Greetings to all melanated people all around the world. It's really a joy, it's really a blessing, it's really an honor to be out here in nature and bringing this message of emancipation to you. This message that's going to set you free and this message that's going to help you to live even more comfortably because it's a message that will bring you into self-realization and you will come to realize that you can create your reality consciously. Even before I go any further, I want to thank each and every person who have followed me in 2017 and I'm grateful to, in 2018, sorry, and I'm grateful to have you who followed me in 2019 and even in 2017 there's some of you who've been following me still back in 2017 and i believe this is a time of greatness for you i believe this is a time of abundance and i'm gonna point you in that direction thus the reason why i want to speak to you concerning how to get rich by getting rid of all of the distractions okay but even before I go to that I really want to thank those who've been supporting this channel and Patreon and those who've been supporting the books I really want to give thanks to each and everyone in whichever way that they've been supporting this work okay so now let me speak to you concerning getting rich by removing the distractions now the very first thing you have to know is that you were born rich okay and the reason why that you never come to realize that you were born rich is because of the way that you were raised and the things that you were made to believe that's the reason why I always say this to you that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically that the Bible is not literal neither is it secular history and I'm saying all of that to show you that the Bible could be interpreted to keep you in poverty I can be interpreted to keep bring you into prosperity into greatness okay so because of the way how you were raised you never really realized that actually you were born rich and that all riches and all honor and all glory and all wisdom and health is in you. So even your parents, they were doing the best that they know. So you have to forgive them. But they can be a big distraction in your life too so my brother and my sisters if you really want to come in to your true inheritance of health and wealth and wisdom you have to come to realize that attachment is one of the biggest distractions that you can have in your life the next thing I want to speak about is social media. Social media is a big, big distraction in the life of many melanated ones. And if you want to come in to the right frequency, to the, into the right vibration and energy, of riches and prosperity you have to remove your attachment to social media the way you've been attached to it the Instagram the Facebook all these things are distraction to distract you from coming to your higher self even many of those who are claiming to be leaders and claiming to have a lot of knowledge they are distractions too because many of them are only speaking from intellect many of them are only speaking from what they would have read 
but none of them have really had any true experience and I'm saying that because I'm living in a country where what I'm saying is foreign to most of the people in this country because they do not have any access to books about anything except books about going to school and getting a good education and there's only one library in this country and all of the books have to do with academic education so on one hand you have some, some speaking about Amen Ra, you have some speaking about Kemet you have some claiming to be black conscious community you have all of these different distractions that are distracting melanated people from coming into the true abundance the true self which is basically the higher self and I would have, I would have heard Reverend Ike said something and I have to be in agreement with him he said one time he was black and he was speaking about black power but he said no he is of green power speaking about having the mentality of riches and having the right concept of money and how to live the rich life and then he goes on to say that black power couldn't pay the bills Kemet can't pay the bills Amen Ra can't pay the bills that's why even the Bible says that many would be ever learning but not coming to the knowledge of the truth because why? they're not applying it in their life and then in James in the book of James says that you must be a doer and not just a hearer thus the reason why my brother and my sisters I am telling you what I'm saying right now to you from experience for it wasn't until I learned to remove the distractions in my life that was distracting me and I'm living in a different area, different environment and all by myself having got, gotten rid of a toxic relationship and a toxic relationship can be a big distraction in your life the environment that you're in can be a big distraction the people that you're wrong that are so negative can be a, dis a big distraction that's the reason why I chose at this time to be bringing a lot of message to you concerning manifesting and concerning being rich and living in prosperity because I'm in the right mood and the right feeling and in the right vibration and the right frequency I'm speaking to you on this level because I feel rich and I know that I am rich I know that I am healthy and I know that I am wealthy and I know that I am wise I'm not trying to believe that I know that and every day of my life I can feel that richness bubbling up in me that living water of life that was offered to the woman at the well and you are the woman at the well and it's been offered to you but you have to remove the distractions you have to get rid of the husbands the things that you are married to all those things you are married to get rid of them even your, up, your, your religious upbringing even though you might leave the church the so called church and you might be speaking consciousness now there are still some things that the church has inbred within you that you have to get rid of those things too they are distractions so my brother and my sisters all I'm trying to, to do is to get you to think of what is the distraction in your life what is distracting you because this time and this season this is the time of abundance and for those who've been listening to me 
I'm asking of you to get under the same frequency and vibration and energy that I'm under right now. Because I know, I know for sure what kind of frequency I am on and the kind of results. And I want you to get the same results. So find time to meditate. Wake up early and do what you're supposed to do. Have a mission. Have a vision. Set your goals. Set your priority right. And let us walk this journey together into abundance and prosperity. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to really thank you very much for listening to me. And I want to thank all those who have been supporting our books and who have been supporting this work on Patreon also and those who have been sharing videos and those who have been following this message of self-realization. I really want to give gratitude to you and I really want to encourage you more than ever before. More than ever before I want to encourage you that we have already laid the foundation that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically and that the Bible is used to brainwash us and we don't know all of that. No, this is the time for abundance. This is the time for us to reap what is ours. So on the other videos and so on, I'll, I'll go into more things that are more in detail of how you go about coming into your abundance by applying this message I've been bringing to you since I believe uh, 2017, since around 2017. You know, at this time I want to just give you the sign, the sign of Matthew 6, 22. I say, if I be single, your whole body will be full of light. And I'm saying to you, when you have that experience, you come to realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N and the S-O-N. And anything that the S-U-N shines upon, it brings forth in abundance. And the Bible says in Psalms 84, 11, that the Lord thy God is a sun and a shield. And in Malachi 4 and 2, he said that sun shall arise in you with healing in his wings. That healing is to heal you from all poverty mentality and bring into abundance bring you into the rich life and my brother and my sisters without the sun there is no life and there is no light and without the human imagination there isn't anything made that was made and the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun and we are the people of the sun therefore please I'm besieging of you Use your mind power to achieve your every desire. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you, I'm out.